equal points. Yes. Who's gonna win? Me. Me. All right, let's get started. Welcome to the Shelly Girls Obstacle Course. I'm Mom. And I'm Dad. And as the girls said, we're going to watch them compete against each other in a series of events. Be sure to subscribe for other great videos. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Okay, for a quick course overview, we start with the pillowcase hop. In this event, the girls will hop in a pillowcase. The second obstacle is the pool noodle straddle. Here, the girls must step in each ring-shaped pool noodle. No obstacle course is complete without a balance beam, believe me, followed by balloon buster event where using darts under close supervision the girls must pop one balloon to move on hey here we are at the yarn string crawl who comes up with these names anyways crawl underneath to reach the other side ah the zigzag sprint weave around these horseshoes as fast as childly possible say do you like puppet shoes say no more this is the seventh event of the course. Bouncy ball crawl. Because nothing says obstacle quite like medicine balls stacked on pool donuts over decorative yoga mats. Hey there, ball toss. We see you. And the final event is the goal kicker. The girls must kick all three balls into the goal to pass through the finish line. Good luck, Shelly girls. Our first competitor is Emma. She was the first born and first to tackle the course today. Oh, and Emma's off to a good start. That's right, one foot in the pillowcase. That pillowcase looks awfully familiar. I hope you didn't use my pillowcase for this event. I sure did, sweetheart. She makes quick work of the pool noodle straddle. And quickly on to the balance beam. Let's see if those gymnastics classes are paying off. Well, it looks like money well spent. And she's made it to Balloon Buster. She must pop one balloon. Done! Now on to the yarn string crawl. Oh, and that this definitely looks easier to do than it was to set up. And she is flying through the zigzag sprint. With such speed. And touches the post. You know, Dad. Tell me, honey. Going into this competition, Emma was most concerned about this event, the puppet shoes. Oh, yeah? She was concerned this might be her Achilles heel. Well, let's hope for the best. Well, I'll tell you, Dad, she certainly is demonstrating some great puppeteering. Yes, Mom, that's puppetry at its finest. And she made it through in great time. And over the bouncy ball crawl now. Oop. Let's watch this instant replay. Excellent footwork here by Emma. More like belly work, but okay. And Emma has made it to ball toss. According to the rule book, if the bucket falls over, it counts. There's the second bucket. Misses the third. And she moves on to the final event. That's right, the goal kicker. There's one, two, she needs three. And there it is. And she races to the finish line, Dad. Her time's gonna be hard to beat. That it is. And the second competitor is Stella. She's four years old, but should not be underestimated. And there she goes. There she goes. Just like a happy kangaroo. Now folks, what you're watching here is not slow motion. She's doing a great job, Dad. Right she is. And on to the balance beam now. Whoa! Did you see that? I think there was a gust of wind. I sure felt it here, Dad. Back on it again. And this time it's flawless. And here she is at Balloon Buster. Now, Dad, this might be her most difficult event. Yes, I think you're right about that, Mom. And her favorite colors are purple and pink, so these may be a factor in this event, Dad. 
And she may not want to pop neither of them, honey. She is a four-year-old after all. If we know anything about Stella, is that she never gives up. Oh, there it is. Success. Hey dad, here we go to the yarn string crawl. If anybody has an advantage in any event, it's right here, Stella. Or it's some cats somewhere. Well, come to think about it, this zigzag sprint is also an advantage for Stella since it's pretty much what four-year-olds do all day. I agree, Mom, and now it's time for this four-year-old to try her skills at the puppet shoes. I must say, Dad, that I am more optimistic at the puppet shoes than I was at her lasting an entire day at Disney World. Oh, you can say that again. And by the way, why are we calling these things puppet shoes? Well, they're giant feet with strings attached to them, so puppet shoes it is. Oh, yes. Now I see it. Stella's doing surprisingly well in this event. Well, I should say, Mom, I saw her practicing for four hours in the living room earlier. Well, Dad, that's great. Really teaching the kids that practice makes perfect. And that'll be the last step of this event. And she gets right into the bouncy ball crawl. Yeah, that's right, Mom. It's not just one ball or two balls. But you must crawl across three balls. Don't forget, Dad, the added complexity of the floating tubes and the decorative yoga mats. Isn't that the truth? And Stella has arrived at ball toss. She has been known to be a good shot. There she goes, per the rule book, that counts. To win, she'll have to repeat that third one. And there she goes. Okay, and red ball in, yellow ball in, green ball in. She did it. And she's sprinting right across to the finish line. Well done. And it's Abby's turn right now. She's six years old and a fierce competitor. That's right, and always has an eye on the competition. And she's off into the pillowcase. That looks like she's going to go with the one foot method. Of course. And she's blasting through the pool noodle straddle. Yes, she is. And to the balance beam now. And she makes it swiftly across. On to Balloon Buster. Yes, dear. This is the event where we've seen plenty of excitement all day long. Oh, and that was so close, Dad. Wow, did you see what I mean? It just doesn't get any closer than that, Mom. Well, she'll have to try again. Yes! Busted. And she skips right into yarn crawl. Make a scarf out of that, she will. And she's coming around that corner with lots of speed, Dad. Like a herd of turtles, Mom. And now we're coming up to my favorite event. Yes, indeed, Dad, your favorite, the puppet shoes. And Dad, this is definitely easier said than done. It takes a lot to make sure that you have those strengths at the right height. So far, so good for Abby as we continue with the puppet shoe run. And up to this point, she's making really good time. Definitely, it's going to be a very close competition. Yes, indeed. I'm getting close to the... Oh, no! Oh, no, Dad. She did lose her balance there, and it's, it's taking her some time to get back up. Yes, but she got right back to it, and a long last step to finish it up. And right into the bouncy ball crawl. And each competitor so far has taken a different approach to completing this event. And how interesting is this approach? Looks like Abby's playing the floor's lava. Oh, and on to the ball toss. Uh, first, you must grab the ball. One in. Oh, so smooth. Oh, she misses the third one, but that was impressive with the first two. 
Oh, there goes that gust of wind again. She never gives up. There, there. she goes. And the first kick looks impressive. Oh, sails oh, off to the left. Yes, Daddy. Oh, oh, and again. And she'll get another try here. She knows exactly what she needs to do. Let's there she goes. Success. And she's going to cross the finish line. In third place, with a time of 3 minutes and 17 seconds, it's Stella! Good job, Stella! Okay, in second place, with a great time of 2 minutes and 33 seconds, it's Abby! And the winner of the obstacle course race of 2021 with a very impressive 1 minute and 49 seconds, it's Emma. Okay, give yourselves a round of applause for a great job. All right, girls, who had fun making this video? Me. That's great. Big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Bye.